Hi friends and welcome back to a spend the week with me vlog. This is a continuation of my last video which I will link below where I go through all of the money I spent and made during the week as a 34 year old uh, social media professional and finance influencer living in College Station, Texas. You can check out that video below, see how I spend and make money in my everyday life because I believe in transparent personal finance. So last week's video got a little bit long and it went Monday through Friday, so go check that out. And this, we're going to spend the weekend with me. So here's what I spend on a kind of higher spend weekend in College Station, Texas. Let's briefly go over my core expenses. This is just for the week as a whole. Between housing, electricity, insurance, phone subscriptions, I spend $78.26 a week, and I also save $250 a week for savings and investments, totaling out to $328 of just normal life expenses every single week. At my day job at Texas A&M, I make $728.63 a week and I also have several side businesses including Budget Girl, my website, my short-term vacation rental, the Ag Wagon, investments, etc, etc, etc. With a broken heart in me if I deserve this feeling I thought Happy Saturday. So what you guys don't know about these little idiots is that they wake up every day around 6 a.m. and either Jacob and I gets up, lets them out to pee, feeds them, and then we go back to bed. And that is how we end up waking up to deconstructed shoes. Another doggy malarkey. It's uh, about 8 a.m. We need to drop them off at the doggy daycare. Rory's getting walks brought to her. It's the bougie money thing that I do. One of the best things that I do is, you know, these two love attention and play, but Rory is a much less social dog, and so she gets someone to eat from some walks her. Uh, she would not enjoy daycare, and these two would not enjoy being stuck all day. So we're going to get dressed, we're going to go to Austin, and hopefully have fun. I'm tired, I stayed up too late. Stella! What are you doing? I'm my baby. My baby. All right, where no, go? I need to sit down. Daycare. How much does daycare usually cost, Jacob? Well, it's only like thirty or so per dog, but there's like all the add-ins, you know. What did we add in this time? Uh, well, a bath for each of them is fifteen bucks. Uh, hopefully, they do a nail trim and stuff too. Uh, there's the Kong service, that's like three bucks per day per dog. <laughs> so I guess it's really not that expensive. So Rory's is 30 bucks and... So I guess you could say if it's about 35-ish per dog. <laughs> 70. Hi. Another 12 for the Kong, so 82. And then another 30 for the pounds. So if it comes out to about 112, 120. Okay. That's not bad. For very, very bougie. Oh shit, no. That's, that's only for one day. 30 per dog per day so they have a weekend minimum so we drop them off Saturday morning and then we pick them up Sunday Evening. at like 5 uh, I guess it'll probably come out to about 170 ish oh, all right. it's still okay they deserve vacation it's like day. <laughs> very bougie dog stuff and then Rory's is $38 plus a $5 tip for the uh, for two 15 minute walks and feeding get on the walk <laughs> oh babies, we're going quick walk before daycare drop off. We are at Blue Bonnet, and they take such good care of the girls here. Stella's just chattering in the back. She is just talking, talk, talk, talk. talk. <laughs> I can take them. You're so cute. Thanks. Okay, so we hope we'll do a little better with the group this time. She's been socialized a lot. Um, here's their food. Um, just one per meal. Yeah, one per dog per meal. They can eat at the same time. They don't fuss over food or anything. Yeah. 
We are grabbing gas for the Austin trip. Uh, Jacob's paying. Girls are dropped off at daycare. Um, this, we, lo we love having a bougie daycare, even if it costs us, even if it costs us two hundred dollars to leave town for eight eight hours plus. It's something I do not regret about like getting better with money and paying off debt and stuff like that. I, I really like being able to treat my dogs to the life I think they deserve. Uh, we're probably gonna stop at a Walgreens, grab a couple of drinks, and get on the road. I don't know why you left me bleeding With a broken heart to me if I deserve this feeling I also found these. Had a good one. Do you see them? They're Pumas. Guess how much I paid. $7.99. No. How much? Five dollars. And that's after I rounded up. I never do that at Goodwill. They were on sale. They were $7.99. He was cheating. Made it to Austin, grabbing at this Japanese place. That was really, really delicious, so no regrets, but it was expensive. How much was it, babe? 72 bucks. 72 bucks after a 15% tip. Yeah. Jacob does have leftovers of his Unon. Um, really, really good, though. Austin. At the container store. Love the container store. Almost never buy anything from the container store because it's so expensive. Um, we are specifically looking for a uh, new dog food storage thing for Stella's food because her old one broke. Perhaps we can find one here, and those are really tough to find. This would be perfect, except it has cats all over it. This is too big. They didn't really have any opaque containers, and I do not want dog food in a clear container. Also, everything is so expensive at the container store. I know this going in every time, and I enjoy looking, but I feel like the container store is more of a museum of inspiration than it is a place to spend actual money. What do you think? Uh, my God, it's so stuff's expensive. It's a lot. It's, I don't even know if I'd be comfortable spending money if I was like really wealthy there. Uh, maybe. We're in downtown Round Rock at the library for the Mensa event. We have to get through metal detector. We went through metal detector already. That's for library books, though. Uh, yeah, you're right. I'm gonna go to the bathroom Okay, I'll wait for you. All right. Well, what do you think of the Austin Mensa group? Um, it was fun, but um, they are a great deal older than me. Yeah, I think we were at least two decades younger than every other person there. So, in a way. And we are in our 30s. Yeah, the closest people to our age were some literal children, so yeah, that, that was were, a bit of a bummer. That came in with like a grandparent. Yeah. People were friendly. People were friendly. We played several games and we did it independently. Uh, yeah, we weren't in each other's pockets or anything like that. <laughs> Jacob is trying to revive the Bryan College Station Mensa, but he's faced some pushback. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Round Rock Avenue. Yeah, it's just, um, there's not a lot of members, and there are even less people my age who are. But that's been the issue since she joined at like 16, right? That there was never anyone younger than their 50s at the yeah. time. So maybe it's just kind of a dying organization, and I don't know whether that's because they haven't adapted with the times, they haven't recruited new members, or they don't, new members who are interested, they aren't interested in... I'm not sure. I'm really I'm the not people sure. there were lovely, but I'm not sure if we want to come back for another game day. I mean, it just, it's going to be four hours of driving. Yeah. Two there, two back. 
We're gonna host one in Bryan College Station. I don't know if anyone's gonna come. Turn right onto Round Rock Avenue. But that's all we can do, right? You know, you gotta start somewhere. Yeah. It's a social club. And those are tough sometimes. I was in social clubs. Turn right. It's tough even when everyone is on the same page. We're gonna go to IKEA. IKEA haul. We got two step trash cans for our bathroom so Stella will quit getting it. This lemon and dill sauce, some gummies, a pillow cover, and a microwave thing. $42. I am especially happy about the price of the trash cans. At Target, very similar ones were like 40 plus bucks and at the container store they were crazy prices too. So we've been looking for those for a while. So IKEA came in clutch on that. Um, it's five o'clock. I don't know what we're gonna do next. Jake was very disappointed by the men's event. And this car is parked way too close to us. We're having some dinner. And going home. Yeah, we had um, both meals were pretty quick today. All right, um, total is 47 after tip, and we have some leftovers. A lot of leftovers. All right, officially almost home. Uh, I have no idea how much I spent today. Jacob got lunch, I got dinner. Um, Jacob got gas. I got the stuff at Ikea. What else did we spend? Where else did we go? We went to Goodwill. Yeah. Did you get anything at Goodwill? Yeah. yeah, I got the $5 shoes at Goodwill and the other two Goodwills we went to, I didn't buy anything. Um, and you spent 10 bucks in our admission to the Mensa thing. And There's somewhere else we went. Oh, we went to Walgreens. Did we? Wait, what about Ward Market? You said no, I didn't. Uh, we went to World Market and Jacob actually bought me a uh, Dutch oven there. So I didn't film while we were shopping because I was shopping. But yeah, big day. I'll put the totals on screen and hopefully tomorrow will be less spendy. But I had a good time. Well, you happy we're home? Do you have good walks? Good girl. All right, I never showed you guys the fit. This is it today. Very comfy. All right, now we're going to bed. And we miss the little dogs. I miss the little dogs so bad. Um, there are a lot of puppy energy, but it brings so much love. Oh, we'll get them back tomorrow at five. Happy Saturday, Sunday. Oh crap, it's Sunday. <laughs> Jamie and I are both slept in because the dogs are at daycare, little ones, and we can't pick them up till five. I miss them very much. We both had weird bad dreams. He's making breakfast. I just got this in the mail. I got it off of a uh, Facebook marketplace. Somebody was selling it and it's really cute. It was only like 16 bucks. So, and the original tag from Kohl's is still on it. OG price was 60. So nice new work dress. Jacob made breakfast and some coffee and is currently cleaning up the kitchen. I am sitting here doing nothing. All right. I thought I was just going to relax today, but apparently I am incapable of that. So I'm working on the front bedroom in the house, which is also kind of Rory's sanctuary. So she doesn't love the little dogs climbing all over her. So if she comes in here, we kind of shut the door too. They can't get in her. She can still get out, but she just likes lay in this area. And as you can see, it's just covered in dog hair. I've got stuff for upcoming brands. I keep like camper renovation stuff, all this, all this was completely stacked up and covered. There's some stuff I'm selling on Poshmark. I need to paint that. So I might do that in a second, but because this room is usually closed, Rory's on the couch right now. Uh, it doesn't, it kind of has become the trash room. So working on it a little bit, got some stuff kind of stored better in the closet. And I'm trying to figure out if I want to like list some stuff for sale or paint that or, you know, clean off that or that. But I do enjoy this type of organizing. I am definitely finding some stuff I need to declutter or get rid of, which is great. This poof thing I got at a yard sale a long time ago. Dogs took it over. You can't wash it. So unfortunately it is being trashed. It just, it won't, I would have to like get an industrial, bring it to a laundromat to do it and we have tons of dog beds everywhere but yeah this is probably a good way to spend a little bit of time and it's definitely going to make me feel better to clean out this room a little bit 
Also, there's a bunch of stuff in here from when I went to my dad's old home on the Gulf Coast and was helping Vince and Beth kind of like clean it out for around the funeral time. I went, they wanted to make sure I grabbed anything before we put everything up for a state sale. So there's a bunch of little stuff in here that, you know, like not worth anything, but like I remember this from my childhood and like this is a really pretty little frame my mom had. So little tchotchkes like that that I don't want to just find disappear. I got this table at a yard sale for a couple of bucks and it's very cool, very vintage. And I was actually, it came rusted already. And I actually had, was doing like concrete pot projects on this, but I think I'm going to tape the silver section off and spray paint this, give it a quick sand. And then that might make this a little nicer. Don't get me wrong. It's still going to be a project table, but it will be a prettier project table. <laughs> With a broken heart to me if I deserve this feeling I thought that you know That we had something special Till you end up all this way It's not perfect, <laughs> but it's better, I think. So I think I have rocks in my shoes. I do. Alright, um, however, while that's been drying between coats, I've been working in here. And this is looking a lot better. Got a lot of stuff organized, put away. Still working on it, but improvement. The paper piles are gone. So much better. All right, well, I got the concrete stuff out. This is looking a lot better. Painted this. I think this looks really nice. Even sealed it. Gonna get the puppies. How do you feel about getting the dogs? I'm pretty excited. Have you missed them all day? I have. It's been very quiet. Life's been different. Stella would look so cute in this. I may try to find one. They uh, they know their demographic. It's official branded merchandise. Really yeah. easy enough to find. It's got the little thing on it. Yeah. I wonder how much we can find it for elsewhere. I like the leash. The leash is very nice. That's a... Oh, I thought it was a dual leash. The girls are coming. Yeah. You go, babies! <laughs> did they do okay? They did great. Hi. Thank you so much for hey, well, Oh, oh. Well. Hi, we Yeah, we became good friends. Stella, Stella, come here. Thank you. Oh, I guess yeah. Thank you. Well, baby. Oh, she smells so good. Oh, did you have fun? That was very sweet of you to tell the lady goodbye. How much was it again? 142. Alright, 142, but they got baths and nail trims, right? Or supposedly nail trims? I don't think they got any nail trims, but they definitely okay. got an exit bath. They smell very good. They're very fluffy. They're very happy. Stella cried. She didn't want to leave. Maggie was... Very happy to. I would say Maggie was sufficiently grateful. Yeah, look how fluffy her butt is. It's so fluffy butt. It's so very fluffy. It's a very fluffy butt. Yes, it is. All right, I did the dishes. Kitchen is clean. Have a load of laundry in, and ready for tomorrow. I have a headache, so I've just been chilling. So our dogs, we're all just tired. Um. Let, ate leftovers for dinner from past couple of meals, about to take bath, and I think that caps off our week. I will put on screen how much I spent and maybe even break it down by category. If you enjoyed spending the week with me, please let me know below, and don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'd love to do this again, maybe on a week where the weather's less bad and we're a little more active.
All right, well, that was my higher spend than normal weekend. Usually on Saturdays, Jacob and I go like thrift stores or garage sales and take the dog places and generally relax a little bit on the weekend and work on our side hustles. But this was a fun way to spend the day. I hope you enjoyed this spend the week with me vlog and I would love to know if you would like more videos like this. Don't forget to subscribe to learn more and earn more. And if you are on TikTok, I did a different week of spend the days with me individual videos over there that you can go check out. All right, I will see you guys next time. Bye.